just a quickie. Um, got this Bluetooth speaker kit from China, uh, USB, and <clears throat> I just thought I'd update you on it. There's a couple of strange things. These two pillars do not reach the top by five mil. Why? I don't know. But they don't. Which is one thing. Um, uh, no instructions. Typical Chinese kits. No instructions, but it's very straightforward. Once you sort of play about and etc. I've got this board just temporarily fitted because I wanted to check everything and with no instructions how to put it together using my own little brain. But uh, with the kit you get three cables that plug into here, left, right speakers power um, there's also a switch in there which will go in the back here um, and down the bottom you've got all these LEDs now for some reason in here there's 10 very bright I'll show you white LEDs um, now these LEDs Actually, a blue, not white. Um, not 100% sure why, but you'll see. There you go in there. Um, yeah, just checking. Yeah, that's a dazzling blue, as you can see. Ooh, it makes my hand look weird. Anyway, so. There's ten of those. Um, the holes I drilled are bad now. So the LED just pokes through. And that was one of the reasons I lined this up. Was to, I don't want to stick it out here. But I do want them into the edge of the plastic to, to line it up. So that will give me a distance to bend the leads. And once I've done that with one, it'll all get done. Um, really exciting, I can tell. You're all, oh, also, with the kit, you get a remote and a USB lead with an end chopped off and the cable's exposed. Um, that's for powering it up. So, I assume it's for powering up. Uh, the board is pretty simple. It's all marked. So, it should be quite interesting. Because the speakers look pretty good quality. Uh, heavy metal. <laughs> I won't be playing heavy metal. But uh, <laughs> they're quite big magnets on the back of these little speakers. I will 3D print some longer bits on it. Um, I've got an elastic band to hold it together because now it's all screwed together. It won't go back into the plastic envelope. But anyway, so that's the exciting thing. Me soldering this up. Yeah. But it will be exciting. I will, I will test it as well. Um, with some uh, music, it would have to be music that. Well, I might just do radio for. I I have to think about it, but I will test it and see what it sounds like. I'm hoping it's going to sound all right. So that's really exciting, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't done a video for a while. Maybe it couldn't be bothered. But, uh, ah, uh, while you're here, I've got this other kit. Uh, made in China. Chinese expertise. 
And it's got some lots of switches, lots of blue things, lots of clear covers, PCB board, and display chip, and some more white plastic bits and nuts, screws, and things. So that'll be exciting. You, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Can you tell what it is yet? No, I won't say who said that because people don't like him anymore. Um, I was going to say something and I forgot what it was. I've said I'm going to make some plastic things up. And I, um, anything else? Have I got anything else to say? Mm, no. It's a simple answer. So that's it. This is just a preliminary video. So give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Possibly even subscribe. And I don't mind what the comments are. You can say it's crap. If you're allowed to say that. I don't know. But it's exciting. That's the thing. It's, oh, it's really, oh, I can't tell you. I've had this sitting around for about nine months to a year. I doubt if I'll ever use it once I've finished it. But, you know, it's uh, getting there that makes it. I don't know why it's got so many holes. Um, maybe that's supposed to go on. On the top, but then the LEDs have never reached. But there's a hole there, which is strange because you've got a hole there, which I'm assuming is for the cable. Hey, yeah. don't know what that hole's for yet. And it needs to breathe. I don't know. Anyway, no instructions. So it doesn't line up with, uh, might do, but you need a very long screwdriver to adjust the pot. And also the other thing, it's, it's going to have screws sticking through the bottom, uh, especially when these are done, you know, those as well. Uh, you think they're giving us some sticky feet. But I've got sticky feet. So, anyway, don't forget, really excited. I bet you can't wait, really, for this video. Me. Soldering. It. Up. Um, I might even do a review on this thing. By Unity. Um... Not much to review, really. The thing is, why, oh why, Unity, are these cables so stiff? And why not make them flexible if you're going to use cables? Perhaps if this had come up straight, you could have had two sockets like you've got on the bottom to plug things in. I don't know. But anyway... I don't think it's much cop. I only bought it. Oh, that's another thing. I haven't tried yet. Uh, some remote for the three Pi 4s I've got to sit around. Which I don't know what I'm going to use them for. Um, I've, I've got a Pi 2 meg. Pi 4 with 2 meg. Pi 4 with 4 meg. And a Pi 4 with 8 meg. All three sitting there, all in our gone cases, and with us huge amounts of with the what's that case on? This is the four gigabyte Pi four in the R1 case. Looks nice, doesn't it? Anyway, I have four of those, three of those, mm, two, 
Street Pipe, Picos. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all this stuff I've got. It's rubbish. Anyway, good. Just stay excited for this. Watch out for it. Lots of comments, lots of likes, hundreds and thousands of subscribes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, is it my time for the tablets? Okie okay, cokey. Okay.